Hello, I'm Mike Wardinsky with NatureMike.com, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a Lightroom Classic catalog. So I'm on a Mac computer here, um, but the process is pretty much the same if you're on a Mac or a PC. So even if you're on a PC, you should be able to follow along just fine. And one thing I want to point out before we even get started here is it's really important to know where Lightroom is storing your catalog and your photos. It's not like the Photos app on a Mac where every time you import, it kind of just goes into this nested folder underneath that app. Um, Lightroom puts the photos wherever you tell it to. So if you're not paying attention to where those photos are going, you're going to have photos all over the place and you might lose them eventually. We're going to eliminate that from happening by doing the steps that I tell you about today. So the first thing we need to do is open up Lightroom. So here we are, Lightroom Classic. And I already have some photos imported into this catalog, but we're gonna create a new catalog by going to File, New Catalog. And the first thing we need to do is give it a name. So I'm gonna call this Mike's Lightroom. And now we need to tell our computer where to store this catalog. So I'm gonna store it on an external drive. Um, some people like to store their catalogs on the computer drive because it is a slight bit faster um, when loading the previews. But the reason I prefer to store my catalog and photos on an external drive is I do a lot of traveling. I'm kind of bouncing back between desktop and, and uh, laptop quite often. And when I'm on the road, I'd like full access to my files and I'd like to be able to use Photoshop. Uh, when traveling. And the only way to do that is to store your catalog and photos on an external drive. So I'm gonna go down here to 2020 Wardinsky Photo and I'm gonna create a new folder within this drive just by clicking the new folder icon in the lower left hand corner. And we're gonna call this Lightroom. Okay so now my Mike's Lightroom catalog is gonna go into the, the Lightroom folder. But I actually wanna put it into another subfolder underneath Lightroom. So I'm gonna create a new folder again and call this one LR Catalog. And I'll open up the, uh, the columns view so you can kinda of see what's happening. So here's going into Lightroom. Lightroom Catalog, and then in Lightroom Catalog will be Mike's Lightroom um, Catalog. So we're going to go ahead and hit Create. And it's going to reopen Lightroom with nothing in it. Kind of how you would see it if you opened up Lightroom for the very first time. So now we need to import our photos. So we can go to File, Import Photos and Videos, or I can just come down to the lower left-hand corner and click Import. Now it is important to note, uh, to note that I am in the library module, not the develop. You notice when I'm in the develop module, there is no import button here. So I'm gonna go back to library and choose import. Okay, so now we need to tell Lightroom where we wanna import our photos from. So right now I've got Mac HD, my 2020 external hard drive, my Google Drive, and another external hard drive. I actually want to import from a SD card. So I'm going to insert my SD card here. Okay, so now you can see the US Digital SD card has popped up. If I click on that, that's going to show me all of the photos on that card. And they're already checked for me because Lightroom knows that I'm probably going to want to bring those all into my catalog. If I didn't for some reason, I could just choose this little checkbox up next to all photos and that will uncheck all photos. So right now, if I clicked import, I can't even do it because it's grayed out. So I could either come back and choose all photos again, or I can just manually come in here and start clicking on ones that I want to bring in. And now you'll see that import box is back. Whenever you're bringing in media from any sort of external card, Lightroom's only going to give you the option to copy that information from the card to your new destination. Um, it's not going to allow you to move it or add it, because it knows that it's on an external media that's very temporary, such as an SD card. And so it's gonna leave that media on the card, but also create it in that new destination. 
You could copy as a DNG, um, and what a DNG stands for is a digital negative, and it's Adobe's standard RAW file. Um, typically, I'm going to leave my photos as my camera's RAW file. Um, and a, if you're using a Canon, it's going to be a CR2. If you're using a Nikon, probably an NEF, and so on and so forth. Let me show you now what would happen if I was trying to import from one of my drives already connected to my computer. So we'll just go over down here to Photography 2019 and click here. And right now, no photos are in this folder. But if I choose Include Subfolders, it's going to show me every single photo that falls within a subfolder of this parent folder. I press OK. So here's a bunch of dog photos. I could check all or uncheck all. So maybe I just want to bring in this photo and this photo. Now I have the option to move these photos, which is going to move them from this 2019 drive to wherever I specify over here. Or I could add them, which would leave the photos where they are on this drive. It would just tell Lightroom where they are and would reference them from that current folder that they're in. And then, of course, I could always go to copy or copy as DNG as well. But I don't want to import these photos, so I'm just going to back out of this, go back to my SD card, check all photos, and now we're going to tell Lightroom where to import these photos. So I'm going to go ahead and click. We can choose the desktop, pictures, movies, or other destinations. So we're going to go to other destinations, and we're going to go to that Lightroom folder we created. Create a new folder, LR Photos. There it is. And so now we got our Lightroom catalog, which is right here. And then our Lightroom photos, which is going to house all of the photos. So they're kind of in the same spot under the Lightroom parent folder, but in two separate subfolders. So I'm going to choose LR Photos. Now we'll take a look at some of the other tabs on the right hand side. So file handling, the most important thing here is don't import suspected duplicates. Typically you don't want to import the same photo twice into your catalog. You could tell Lightroom to make a backup copy if you wanted. I don't typically do this because I just make clones of my working drive as I go. And build smart previews, that's an option for folks who uh, don't store their photos and catalogs all in the same place on the same drive. Um, you might be interested in that, but typically I don't use the, the smart previews. File renaming. I don't rename my files while importing. I do that afterwards. Apply during import. This is actually a pretty cool feature. So by default, this will be set to none, but I can go to develop settings, and if you have a preset already made, you can apply it right at the time of import. And so I have the, the Landscape Photographer's Toolkit over here. If I go to Import Settings, here we go, Chromatic Aberration Removal. So what this is going to do is it's going to check the Chromatic Aberration box in the Develop module on every single photo that I import. And that's just going to save me a little bit of extra time when I'm in the editing process. So if you don't have any presets, don't worry. Just leave that set to None. Uh, but if you do, you can come in here and apply any one that you'd like. And lastly, destination. This just kind of shows you where your photos are going. Just sort of a double check before you actually click the import button. So I recommend leaving this tab expanded all the time. That way you can see where you're, what's happening with your photos. So right here we have the Lightroom folder we created. Underneath that, Lightroom catalog and Lightroom photos. And then underneath that Lightroom photos folder is the, our 2020 and then the day's date that the photos were shot on. You could create a subfolder if you wanted, but typically I don't. Um, I leave everything organized by date the way it is. And then after the photos are imported, then I'll rename the folders. So let's go ahead, everything's set now. Let's go ahead and just choose import. So we'll get the little progress bar here on the left that's telling us that it's importing our photos. Here they come. And by default, Lightroom takes you to the catalog tab and puts you in the previous import section. But if I come down to my Folders tab, I can also see that here we are in the 2020 Wardinsky Photo Hard Drive, the 2020 folder, and then the, the day's date that the photos are in. Now you remember that I put these in the LR Photos folder, but it's not showing up here. If I control click here or right click on a PC, 
I can choose show parent folder. And there we go, LR photos, 2020, and the day state. Now, if we wanna rename the folder, all I have to do is control click or right click on a PC, rename, call this Mike's first import. And I could erase this date here if I wanted, but a lot of times I'd like to have that there. Um, that's just a, a personal preference, so that's, that's your call. And then press save. So now that we have our Lightroom catalog started, it's really, really important to never move these folders on your hard drive or rename them or move the photos that are within the folders on your hard drive. All that needs to be done within Lightroom. So if I wanna rename a folder, you do just like I did, control click, rename. If I wanna move this folder, I can just click and drag here or really into any other um, folder that I want. But um, don't do that on your hard drive because Lightroom's gonna lose your photos and then you have to tell Lightroom where those photos are again and that can get quite confusing, a little messy and then you really run the risk of losing your photos forever. So now that we have our Lightroom catalog set up, it's important to talk about backing up. You should always have your photos and catalog backed up in more than one spot, ideally three places. So what I typically do is I've got my, my 2020 um, hard drive here. If I open that up, inside, if I get organized by name, this is all of my Lightroom information here. 2020 Nature Mike Photography. You can see my 2020 Lightroom catalog and then my Lightroom photos. So if I wanna back up my catalog and all my photos, all I have to do is make a copy of this drive onto another drive. So I could, I could just click and drag this over to this other drive if I wanted to, or there's other programs out there. Uh, my personal favorite one for Mac is Carbon Copy Cloner. That's really good for duplicating hard drives. The last thing I wanna talk about is cloud storage. Backblaze is my personal favorite because it's relatively inexpensive. It's only $60 per year and gives you unlimited storage space. So you can see if I go to my account here in the second it'll load and it's gonna show me all my hard drives that are connected to this computer, the last time they were backed up. It'll also show me how many files I have backed up and how many files have yet to be backed up. So go ahead and check out backblaze.com for your online backup solution. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned a thing or two and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And of course, visit me at www.naturemike.com.